Hello, Dawes Road family. To those of you who've tuned in, welcome in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And yes, we want you to be encouraged in your walk with Jesus. I, I, I come to Revelation chapter 16 and verse 15, and I'm shocked. I'm surprised by mercy. I'm shocked at this expression of God's love and mercy to a world that is so rebellious against Him. Now, when I put that verse in context, it, it, it really does. It blows me away. And, and for a long time, I didn't know how to handle this. I, I didn't. I mean, in the flow of the events of the book of Revelation, we've already passed the time where Jesus has called us who, dead and alive, who've believed in Jesus, He's called us to Himself. We're safe from the outpouring of God's wrath. After that, God begins several phases of pouring out His wrath against the people who refuse to turn to God. For God to establish righteousness, wickedness must be dealt with. And so the righteous God, in righteousness, pours out His righteous judgments, and it is horrible, horrible, horrible. A plague on the land, a plague on the oceans, a plague on the fresh water supply, a plague on the atmosphere, a plague that dries up the Euphrates River to allow a 200 million man army to sweep through and millions and billions are dying. It is the stench, the, 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 the um, what you see is just, it's just incredible and horrible. And yet what we read several times in in chapter 16 is that these people who are experiencing these plagues of God and they know that it is God who's bringing it out, they, they, they refuse to believe. They refuse to turn away from the rebellion and turn to Christ and they refuse and they spit at God and they curse God. And yet in the middle of that, wow, mercy. Uh, let, me, let me just kind of show you how abrupt it is. <laughs> this little verse of mercy. Um, Revelation chapter 16, verse 14, let me begin there. They are demonic spirits that perform signs, and these are demonic spirits. John sees it as, as these demons coming out of the mouth of Satan and of the Antichrist, and his sidekick, the false prophet, to deceive the military powers to gather together to sweep through. And it says here, and they go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of God Almighty. And if I skip two verses, it says this, then they gathered the kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon, a battle. Ultimately, what they want to do is they want to fight Jesus. Wow, what a rebellion and what devastation. But you know, if I back up one verse, verse 15, Jesus cuts in an amazing statement. Listen to this. Jesus says, look, I come like a thief. Blesses the one who stays awake and remains clothed so as not to go naked and be shamefully exposed. A whole world that is so wicked, they refuse to turn to God. Yet Jesus issues a statement of mercy. It shocks me, surprised me. I thought mercy, <laughs> the opportunity to receive mercy was gone. But no, there's still breath and there's still the opportunity to receive Christ and be clothed not in physical clothing. It's not about physical clothing here. It's about spiritual clothing. Clothed in the righteousness of Christ who bought for us our redemption, our salvation with his own blood. And you can be clothed in the righteousness of Christ. So if there's opportunity then, how much more so opportunity now to experience the mercy of God? Don't wait. But, the, the, but if you have breath, you can turn to God and receive Jesus as Savior and Lord and experience God's mercy. That's the heart of our God. Righteous God, merciful God. Receive Christ and you will experience the mercy of God, the forgiveness of sins and eternal life with Him to enjoy His glory forever. God bless you as you experience the mercy of God.